Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. Thank you for your interest in our Sonic Backup application. In this video, we're going to walk you through the application and give you a good idea of how the application works. Now, in general, Sonic Backup is designed to automatically backup all of your Sonic Wall firewalls on a regularly scheduled basis and store it to your local computer or network so that then it can be backed up by either your CDP or other backup method. And the idea is that you can keep multiple copies of the configuration of your firewalls in the event that the firewall becomes unusable and you have to replace it or you've made a configuration change and you want to roll back to a previous version. Sonic Backup gives you that opportunity to do so. So let's go ahead and go through the application. First, as you can see here, we have a list of all of our different firewalls that we're currently backing up. For example, we have our lab firewalls, we have our remote offices, colo facility, and so on. Now to add a firewall, we just click on Add Firewall. And in here, we want to give it a name of the firewall. You can call it whatever you like. And you can provide a description, which could be a location of the firewall or maybe a local contact if it's for a remote network. You can use the host URL of the device or you can put in the IP address of the device and then provide a username and password for an account that's on the Sonic wall that has admin privileges. After that's added you'll just click Save and then it'll show up in the list of firewalls that are ready to be backed up. Now once the firewall is put in, the next thing you want to do is you want to create a new schedule. What this does is we set up Sonic Backup with a specific schedule of how often to back up this one particular firewall. So with Sonic Backup we can back up multiple firewalls using different schedules for every one. The options you have are you can do it daily, weekly, or monthly or you can set up a recurring for every hour or even every so many minutes. Depends on what your environment requires and how often you're making changes to your firewall determines what kind of schedule you're going to build for the backup. Then once you have your schedule set up, Sonic Backup is ready to go ahead and start scheduling the backups of the firewall. You can go into your backup queue and you can see a list of all the firewalls that are scheduled to be backed up and where they're at in the queue process. Under backup log you can see in real time the activity that's happening with Sonic Backup. As we can see for example here the SonicWall NSA 5500 from our lab is currently being backed up by Sonic Backup. And finally, under server log, this is more of a, for a troubleshooting in case you're having issues with Sonic Backup, backing up any of your Sonic Wall firewalls, you'll find information in here that can be useful in troubleshooting it. For example, you could have in a bad IP address of the firewall, or you can have a bad username, password, so on. You'll find that within the logs. Now up at the top, we have a couple options. We can select clear current queue and what this does is this will clear out the queue of all the firewalls that are scheduled to be backed up. You can also click on view backup directory and what this will do this will bring up the directory of where you're storing all of your firewall configuration files and as you can see Sonic Backup labels them accordingly so that it's easy to find what you're looking for. So for example, here's a backup of our Colo facility done on 4-15-2001 at 10.47 a.m. Next, under the Edit Preferences, you have the option to specify where you want all of the firewall configuration backups stored. Once again, it can be stored onto your local machine or onto a network share. You also have an option to enable or disable the desktop pop-up alerts and I'll demonstrate that to you here in just a minute. 
And then finally, you can change your network adapter. So if you have multiple network adapters that is on a particular machine, you can go in and specify what network adapter you want Sonic Backup to use to connect to the firewalls to perform the backups. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a demonstration of the pop-up alerts. For the pop-up alerts to work, you simply just minimize the application and you will start to see down here in your system tray a little message that will pop up that will show you the status of a backup that's been completed. It will show you the firewall name. For example, this is Lab Sonic Wall NSA 3500, IP of the firewall, and then finally whether the backup was successful or if there was an error. That way you know that your firewall is being backed up and if there's an error, you know you can open up the application and start troubleshooting the process. Okay, we hope you found this video useful in describing the Sonic Backup application. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or use the comment section below. Alright, have a great day.